So kami harap uh, Tuan Muhammad uh, boleh sampaikan mesej ini kepada Wami Menteri dan ya yeah, kami sudah senarai bank account lalang surat kalau dia setuju boleh transfer itu pembahasan kepada kami kerana kami rasa ini sekiranya satu yang perkara yang sangat penting ini kerana uh, kelajar mana ni so kerana keganasan polis tidak harus berlaku dan ini kerosakan yang sivil harus diberi uh, pembahasan so okay. oh, yeah. <coughs> Uh, kami hari ini Tio Beng Hock ini Association for Democratic Advancement datang sini pejabat menteri untuk menyerahkan satu surat untuk menuntut pampasan daripada menteri dalam negeri uh, YB uh, Saifuddin kerana kejadian keganasan polis di jalan parlimen pada 15 hari bulan Julai pada hari tersebut kami pergi situ ada perhimpunan abuak aman untuk menyerahkan uh, memorandum kepada Perdana Menteri dan juga Ahli Parlimen secara aman tetapi dalam proses itu Boris segat kami untuk masuk ke sehingga ke pintu besar Parlimen dan se, uh, semasa itu ada Boris anggota Boris guna keganasan so dua orang anggota kami jatuh di lantai dan juga seorang punya rantai reher diputuskan So, hal ini kami datang sini um, Sebelum itu kami sudah buat laporan polis Nak pergi IPCC buat laporan polis tentang kegenasan polis Tapi tujuan kami nak serahkan surat kepada YB Menteri Ialah untuk menuntut pampasan, kerosakan So, apakah kerosakan? Yang pertamanya, uh, ada seorang anggota kami yang rantai reher Sudah putus Kami nak menuntut, menuntut pampasan 2600 dan juga ada tiga keping perekat soal dilosakan kami nak menuntut enam ringgit so jumlah yang tuntutan papasan ialah dua ribu enam ringgit jadi kami datang sini untuk selahkan itu surat tuntutan papasan so uh, kami sebenarnya halap boleh masuk ke sini kerana ini kelajan mana ni sepatutnya dia mengalu-alukan rakyat pergi masuk ke menteran dalam negeri tetapi um, malang ya <laughs> kami terpaksa serahkan surat ke sini tapi tak apa um, saya uh, mungkin just uh, serahkan surat ini kan uh, tuan nama apa Muhammad tuan Muhammad dari unit corporate uh, unit corporate atau korporasi unit unit komunikasi corporate dari pejabat uh, at the end so subsequently after that Uh, me and my president, uh, me and my chairperson, uh, Nyap Hua, we, mani- uh, we uh, brought along uh, two activists, uh, Wong Wun Hao and Lao Ping Chun, who was assaulted uh, by the police during last week at the Walk of Justice. And we go to IPCC to actually report on uh, police abuse cases. So uh, we wish to uh, say give thanks uh, to the Home Ministry and also the IPCC for giving us a full cooperation and I have I can say that their complaints and has been successfully received by IPCC and we hope that IPCC could follow up with further actions and from their side we wish them well we hope that they will uh, execute their tasks as fast as possible as we await the verdict of what comes out of this investigation last week. Uh, Wong Wun Hao um, was pushed by the police last week. So there were some injuries that he suffered. Uh, Lao Ping Chun, uh, Miss Lao Ping Chun, uh, she was strangled. Uh, she was pushed down also, right? Uh, and she was obviously also injured and suffered from uh, excessive forces from the police. And most importantly, uh, one of her necklaces, uh, one of her necklaces was damaged also. So these are the reparations that we are seeking from the Home Ministry. And uh, hopefully the Home Minister, as he have said yesterday, that he will respond after uh, Tio Beng Hock's uh, family meet with Prime Minister on 1st of August. So hopefully we'll get something after 1st of August. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, a reply, a form of reply or any further actions. As for IPCC, uh, we need to give time to IPCC as I believe that, uh, as was told by the officers, there has been a lot of complaints received from IPCC, but we also want uh, immediate action to be taken because uh, the evidence that we have submitted, both photographic and both video evidence that we have submitted, and also, as you can see, it was been reported last week, uh, uh, there was uh, sufficient circumstantial evidence to support both of our activist complaint that they were indeed uh, injured by the police when they were exercising their freedom of assembly, uh, and when they were exercising their freedom of assembly to walk to the parliament to submit a memorandum with regards to the Chiobeng Hawk case. I would like to add there was a third complainant also, which is the sister of the late Tio Beng Hawk, Tio Li Lan. Uh, unfortunately, she was unable to make it. But I believe that the statement that IPCC and the media has received uh, has explained the 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 the, the injuries or uh, the the abuse that she has suffered while she was uh, walking uh, while she was exercising as usual, uh, exercising her freedom of assembly when walking to parliament to submit the memorandum. So she couldn't make it, but uh, I guess IPCC has been take, take uh, uh, has taken notice of the of, of Leland's uh, complaint also. Yeah. What uh, the IPCC has merely said, uh, merely has performed is that they have received the investigation as the procedure as stated under the IPCC Act. And they will ob obviously go through their in-house procedure la, where they will analyze further the case and then it will take it to a committee for a meeting and things like that. So uh, they never verbally promised that an action, any actions would be taken and stuff like that. So, but uh, we want to emphasize that uh, this, uh, the whole formation of IPCC, uh, the idea of the Independent Police Conduct and Commission is to Im independently investigate any form of uh, police misconduct in an independent and impartial manner. So this is a time for the IPC to prove its doctors wrong and uh, to independently investigate. The boss is on the ICPC, IPCC to do its job and we wish them well. Yeah, we hope that there will be a, 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 a uh, success to uh, yeah, yeah that uh, I we hope that there is something of a positive outcome from our side <laughs> yeah so TBH ADA with the consultation and with the agreement of the three comp complainants also agree that uh, the injuries that they have suffered although it's blatant but it's not something that requires further or warrants further medical attention so we have decided that not to take into account or that to burden the government's coffers uh, so uh, so far, but what we want to emphasize is that there indeed there has been damage that has been done, which is the necklace of uh, Miss Lao Pinchun, and some of the TBH ADA play card was also damaged. So these are the things that we both we seek and compensation and also an answer and a reply from the Home Minister himself. Why be Yeah.